Dear readers, welcome to our channel focused on China. Is it true? Today's video highlights a crucial technology in China's semiconductor industry, lithography machines, especially immersion DUV lithography machines. Lithography machines hold a pivotal position in chip manufacturing, with their precision and efficiency directly impacting the technological level and capacity of chips. Currently, the most advanced lithography machines globally are the EUV lithography machines from the Dutch company ASML. Due to various reasons, China faces challenges in purchasing EUV lithography machines and relies on DUV lithography machines, especially immersion ones. Immersion DUV lithography machines play a vital role in China's chip industry capable of producing 7 nanometers and even 5 nanometers chips, representing one of the most advanced technological levels globally. Due to export control regulations, ASML might face challenges in supplying NXT, 2000 iron higher immersion devices to China, potentially causing supply chain issues. The latest two immersion DUV lithography machines may not be sold to mainland China. ASML's financial report indicates that China has become its second largest market. This signifies significant demand in China for ASML lithography machines, but export controls from the United States may impact the Chinese market. China has procured a substantial number of immersion DUV lithography machines, and domestic company AMEC has successfully developed dry DUV lithography machines while working on immersion DUV lithography machines. This demonstrates China's strategic plans and investments in developing the domestic lithography machine industry to reduce dependence on imports. Immersion DUV lithography machines can manufacture 5 nanometers chips, and while costs may rise, it is a feasible approach to propel the chip industry to smaller process nodes. Lin Benjian, the father of immersion lithography, believes advancing to 5 nanometers is feasible with more exposures, even if it results in increased costs. Recent media reports reveal that the Dutch lithography giant ASML disclosed a 6.4 billion euro order from China, securing its position as the second largest market globally, as everyone in China knows. Lithography machines are one of the core and expensive devices in the chip manufacturing process. Their role is to project the circuit pattern of the chip onto a silicon wafer using light. The precision and efficiency of lithography machines directly determine the technological level and capacity of chips. Currently, the most advanced lithography machine globally is the EUV lithography machine from the Dutch company ASML, capable of manufacturing chips below 7 nanometers, even down to 3 nanometers. However, mainland China faces challenges in acquiring EUV lithography machines, creating a gap in China's semiconductor industry. So, what kind of lithography machines can China purchase? The answer is DUV lithography machines. DUV lithography machines, which use ultraviolet light, are the most commonly used lithography machines, capable of producing chips of 65 nanometers and above. DUV lithography machines are divided into two types, dry and immersion. Dry DUV lithography machines are the earlier generation, with a minimum process node of 65 nanometers, suitable for manufacturing chips of 65 nanometers or larger. On the other hand, immersion DUV lithography machines, the later generation, have a minimum process node of 7 nanometers, capable of manufacturing 7 nanometers or larger chips. The significance of immersion DUV lithography machines to China's chip industry is their ability to manufacture 7 nanometers, and even 5 nanometers chips, representing one of the most advanced technological levels globally. However, acquiring immersion DUV lithography machines is not easy. According to the latest information, starting from January 1st, 2024, ASML's two latest immersion DUV lithography machines, NXT's 2100i and 2050i, cannot be sold to mainland China as their licenses have been revoked. 
These two machines are the most advanced immersion DUV lithography machines, with the highest efficiency, exposing over 300 wafers per hour. Although there is no explicit ban on ASML's other two immersion DUV lithography machines, NXT, 2000i and 1980 Di, they are likely to face restrictions due to their DCO values, a performance indicator exceeding US limits. The accuracy of these for lithography machines is essentially the same, with differences mainly in efficiency. As for Nikon, a Japanese company, its immersion lithography machines cannot be sold to mainland China due to stricter Japanese restrictions, with devices of 40 nanometers or larger being ineligible for sale.so. Does this imply that China's immersion DUV lithography machines will face a supply crisis? Will China's semiconductor industry be unable to reach the 7 nanometers or even 5 nanometers process nodes? I want to assure everyone that there is no need to worry. China is well prepared for the next 3 to 5 years. With an abundance of immersion DUV lithography machines. Moreover, China can use immersion DUV lithography machines to manufacture 5 nanometers chips, which is excellent news. Why is that? Firstly, China has already procured a considerable number of immersion DUV lithography machines in advance to meet future demands. It is reported that in 2023, mainland China purchased approximately 60 billion yuan worth of lithography machines from ASML, mainly consisting of immersion DUV lithography machines, which is around three times the procurement volume in 2022. These lithography machines will be delivered over the next few years, providing robust support for China's semiconductor industry. After all, the previous annual procurement was around 10 to 20 billion yuan, and now it has increased to 60 billion yuan, a significant leap forward. Secondly, China's domestically produced immersion DUV lithography machines are rapidly advancing, with breakthroughs expected in the near future. Currently, China's AMEC has successfully developed dry DUV lithography machines with a minimum process node of 90 nanometers, which are already in mass production and export. Immersion DUV lithography machines have also entered the final stages of research and development, with mass production expected before 2025. By then, China won't need to rely on imports, it can manufacture immersion DUV lithography machines domestically. Marking a historic moment finally, China can leverage the potential of immersion DUV lithography machines to manufacture 5 nanometers chips. It might sound incredible, but it is entirely possible. In fact, TSMC's first generation 7 nanometers chips were manufactured using immersion DUV lithography machines. Huawei's Kirin 9000 chip in the Mate 60 smartphone also utilized this process, showcasing outstanding performance. Lin Benjin, the father of immersion lithography, has expressed that advancing from 7 nanometers to 5 nanometers with immersion DUV lithography machines is feasible, requiring more exposures and resulting in increased costs. However, while costs are important, Entering the 5 nanometers realm is even more crucial, right? Moreover, with technological advancements, costs are expected to gradually decrease. Therefore, I want to tell everyone that in the next 3 to 5 years, China doesn't need to worry about immersion DUV lithography machines, and there's no need to worry about advancing to 5 nanometers either. China is well prepared, and perhaps the era will have changed after 3 to 5 years rendering such concerns unnecessary. On the 24th local time, the financial report released by Dutch lithography machine manufacturer ASML showed that China has become the company's second largest market. The financial report indicates that ASML achieved a net sales revenue of 27.6 billion euros in 2023, a year-on-year -year increase of 30%. Bloomberg reported that ASML's growth last year was due to strong demand from China. Reuters stated that China replaced South Korea last year, rising to the second position, accounting for 29% of ASML's lithography system sales, 
exceeding 6.4 billion euros. According to Bloomberg, after the United States implemented export restrictions, the Dutch government partially revoked the export license for semiconductor manufacturing equipment to China. ASML released a statement on January 1, stating, The Dutch government recently partially revoked the export license for NXT 2050i and NXT 2100i lithography machines, affecting a few customers in China. In conclusion, let me summarize for readers, hoping you have gained insights and food for thought. First, due to the impact of export controls, China's semiconductor industry may face supply chain pressure from the Dutch company ASML in the future. Whether China can find alternative suppliers or domestic alternatives to ensure stable lithography machine supply is a critical question. Technological advancement is crucial for driving the semiconductor industry to smaller process nodes. Can domestic companies in China achieve breakthroughs in lithography machine technology and produce smaller sized chips? The impact of international trade rules and export control regulations on lithography machines, changes in the international trade environment, and the stability of China's cooperation with other countries are all important factors to consider. That's all for today's video. Stay tuned for the next exciting content. Goodbye. Bye.